Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make a whole roasted butternut squash. The very first thing I'm going to do is wash my butternut squash and I'm just using regular dish soap to wash it. If you've never had butternut squash before, to me the taste is similar to sweet potato. I think it's almost like a sweet potato. But the health benefits, it is better for you than a sweet potato. Can you believe that? If you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. And if you like what you see, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. And be sure to click the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. For those of you who have been subscribed for a while and you're not getting your notifications, please check your notification bell, make sure it's turned on. And make sure you're still subscribed because a lot of people say they haven't been getting my videos, so check on that. Okay, now I'm just going to dry it and then I'm going to cut it. I find that the easiest way to cut the butternut squash is to just cut off the tip where the stem is and then cut it straight down the middle. Use the biggest knife you have but be careful, don't cut yourself. For the seeds, I'm not going to throw them away, I'm going to put them in this pot because I want to make some roasted pumpkin seeds but I'll show you that in my next video but for now, I'm just going to scrape them out in the pot. So be sure to come back if you want to see how I make them in my air fryer. If you haven't been following me on Instagram yet, you can do so at Cooking with Sharani. I'm always sharing stuff in my stories over there, so come follow me. After you get the seeds out, you want to go in there and scrape out all of that stringy stuff. Next, you're going to line a baking sheet with aluminum foil because this will help with cleanup. After they bake, they get really nice and caramelized, so you want to line your pan. To roast the squash, you're going to need some oil. And I have some canola oil in this bottle. I'm just going to spray some oil on each piece of the squash. I love this little bottle to spray my oil, so if you're interested in it, I'm going to leave it linked below for you. Next, you're going to put some salt on it, and I'm just using some pink Himalayan salt, but you can use whatever salt you want. And you're going to need some black pepper, and that's it, that's all you need. To roast them, you're going to turn them over. You want the skin side on top. I'm going to put them in a preheated 400 degrees Fahrenheit oven and bake them for 45 minutes. When you take them out of the oven, turn them over and let them cool. Cool. 
we wanted to go ahead and take a picture that's why it's on this plate now and I'm just going to fork it so you can see how soft it is and the skin is so soft as well if you've never had butternut squash before you have to try it you'd be surprised at how good it is and how sweet it is for me I like to eat it just the way it is just as a side but if you want you can add some maple syrup to it you can add brown sugar cinnamon you know just to make it like a dessert but you can eat it however you want it's up to you and when you bake it the skin will get so soft you can just scoop it right out of the skin Well, I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Every thumbs up helps to get my videos out there. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't yet subscribed, please don't forget to do that. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.